10 beekeeping jobs you need to do in March. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. Welcome to Winning Griffith. Here we do everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, if this is your first time watching, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. So, today we're talking about 10 beekeeping jobs you need to do in March, and I may throw an extra bonus one in at the end. So job number one, and this is by far the most important job of this month. Heft your hives. Now your bees are going to be starting at drastically increased numbers this month. And this is the month where it's critical. A lot of bees die in March because they're building up rapidly and there isn't enough food there for them. So if your hive isn't heavy with stores, then you need to add feed. Now, what kind of feed? In March, I would still be using fondant, but if the weather is warm enough, 12 degrees plus, then you might get away with syrup or sugar and water mixture instead. But my advice would be give them fondant, because say, for example, it's the first week of March, the weather is beautiful, warm, glorious, the bees will take syrup, no problem. But what happens if it starts freezing in the night? What happens if the next week is promising cold weather? The syrup is no good for the bees then. They can still starve, at least with fondant. Doesn't matter what the weather's gonna do, they can still consume that fondant and survive and build up on it. Number two, take out the varora trays if you keep your varora trays in over winter and take your mouse guards off. No need to have them on the hive at this time of year. The bees are going to be building up rapidly. Any mice in that hive is going to be either dead or it's long gone out of there. It's not going to be tempted to make a nest or a den in a beehive from this month onwards. So get them out. Now, if you want to use pollen patties, this is the perfect month to get them on the hives. Pollen patties can be great to give in your bees that extra bit of boost, especially when the weather's cold. When the weather's cold, the bees are not flying, they're not bringing in that pollen and rear new brood. With pollen patty on the hive, they can continue to rear bees and increase numbers even when the weather is cold. Number four, remove dead doubts. Any dead doubts you see in the apron now, take them away from there. You don't want bees robbing them. So anything dead, take it back with you. Number five, are your spare boxes ready to go? Do you need extra supers because you've made increases last year? Have you got those boxes? Do you want to make more splits this year? Have you got your nuke boxes? Make sure you've got enough boxes ready to go. Once that spring honey flow comes in, you want those supers on the hive. The time to build your supers for the spring honey flow is long gone. Make sure they're ready because once that honey starts flowing, those boxes need to be on that hive. Number six, any bits of kit you need that you haven't yet sterilized, do that now because we are literally weeks away before you need all that kit. Number seven, now this is the perfect month to give your apiary its first cut. Cutting the grass now is a great time to do it. There's not a ridiculous amount of bees in there, so you're not going to get peppered with angry bees mobbing you in the year that lawnmower or strimmer, and it sets the standard for the year. Keep it tidy in March. Hopefully, you can keep it tidy right through the summer. Number eight. Do you need bees? If so, have you ordered your bees? Bee breeders and people that sell bees, like myself, are running out of nukes really fast. Don't wait any longer. If you want to buy bees or nukes, make sure you do that now. Number nine. Depending what the weather's like at the end of this month, you may be able to start inspecting bees as long as the weather is warm enough. Now, 
make sure that the weather is warm enough. There's no need to inspect your bees. If the weather's too cold, there's nothing to gain. There'll be hardly no drones in the hive at this time of year. They're not gonna wanna swarm. So the only reason you wanna inspect your bees is to make sure they're healthy and alive. Apart from that, there's no splitting or queen rearing happening this month. The work is minimal. But as long as the weather is warm enough, you may be able to inspect your bees towards the middle to the end of the month. Number 10. Now, depending again on the year, hopefully it's going to be a good one. If spring comes in early and the dandelions come in early, you may need to get supers on the hive. Now, this is normally not the norm, especially where I am in Wales. I don't think I've ever put supers on a hive in March. But with global warming, seasons changing, etc., do be mindful of that. If you see the dandelions out in flower and the weather's warm, those supers need to be on the hive. Now, in March, if you're a little bit nervous about putting a super on the hive, because adding that extra space base onto a hive can cool the hive down drastically especially if it still freezes in the night a trick that you can do is put the super above the crown board so if there is honey coming in the bees can go up to it but you've got the crown board between the brood box and the super to help keep the heat in in the night just make sure when the season really kicks in you move that crown board above the super and here's the bonus job, number 11. If you're a keen gardener like we are here at Gwyn and Griffith, now is the time to get those seeds in, especially flower seeds. March is the perfect time. Start them off in trays in the house or in the glass house. You'll give yourself a nice head start and early flowers in the garden come spring. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. 10 jobs you need to do in March with a bonus one thrown in. Hopefully you found it useful and you're gonna start doing those jobs. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you wanna watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.